What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy, Snowy Kurama, your coach of the Season 5 Chicago White Sox, and I'm here today to talk to you about my team against Gage, and then afterwards, of course, the battle. So Gage is the coach of the the um, the Mobile Mega Mawiles. He has, where is it? There it is. Here's his team. He's got Salamence, he's got Victini, Scolipede, Slurpup, Uxie, Noivern, Hippowdon, Rotom Heat, Nidoking, Blastoise, Heliolus, and Hitmonlee. Now something I noticed about his team is he's weak to rock. Oh, he also has the Electric Gym Z. He's weak to rock, so here's kind of the team that I decided to bring. He's weak to rock, like I kept saying, so here is a... Um, I kind of changed my team around. I'm not exactly set on it as of now. I just remembered I got some changes to make. But right now I have a Focus Sash Aerial Aerodactyl. Say it was Rocky MZ. I might just change it back to Rocky MZ and have Iron Head over the tailwind. My idea is to, because none of my Pokemon really outspeed the Noivern, except for maybe Aerodactyl with a scarf, and I don't want to really scarf my Aerodactyl right now. I want to, yeah, I just don't want to do it. So why bring something that will net up see the scarf we got a shell, to, shell bell or raquinid here we have enough special defense to take three sludge waves from full from Benito king and uh, enough defense here to really make a difference on some of the other attacks that we'll be taking we have toxic infestation set here that's designed to kind of trap yuxi so it doesn't really so once it set up sets up its rocks we can just get rid of them with another pokemon on the team and, you know, it's not an issue anymore. I should probably go in order. I got Sylveon here. This thing is going to be really good against all of his dragon types. He's got a Noivern and Salamence and Psyshox here, just in case he brings in a Scolipede, not expecting it. We have Protect here and Wish as well. This is really just in case that his Noivern is a Switcheroo set that wants to give me a Choice Scarf so that I can just keep uh, protecting and then Wish when I need to. And here is a Calm Mind Recover Surf and Ice Beam set for Mega Latios. It has enough speed in here for where the Tailwind for Aerodactyl will matter, which it originally had Tailwind over Calm Mind. And then Ice Beam and Surf for more or less two hit KO everything on his team, supposing we get Stealth Rocks up, which is what I'm hoping. This Calm Mind might go away for Tailwind again. Like I said, still kind of a. Uh, trying to decide that but you'll know when uh when i know i guess and here's infernape we have a choice scarf set flare bliss u-turn gunk shot and fake out i think fake out should definitely be mock punch this thing is going to be faster than a lot of his team it's there to kind of whittle away at whatever he has with the u-turn and the mock punch of course to be uh faster or to have priority over things that might be faster, like a uh, plus two Dragonite, Dragonite Salamence. Even though it might, re even though it does resist, which is kind of why Fake Out was there. But then I'm scarfing the Fake Out, and now I have to switch it out. That was kind of a big issue when I was, um, when I was testing the team. And then last but not least, we have a Zapdos here. It's gonna discharge. It's gonna hidden power ice some things away. It's it's really fucking bulky. I tell you what, all the people that used Zapdos in the past, kudos to you. Like, this thing really does the work. I did have Volt Switch here at first, but I was not doing as much damage as I wanted to when I needed to, so Discharge is here to kind of help with that. We got Roost to get back some HP, as well as Defog to get rid of any hazards that we might have. My plan is, if he has Uxi, I lead off with Araquanid. If he has something else that can set up some rocks, I'll probably throw out Aerodactyl with Taunt. In fact, probably changing Megalodios to doing that is probably best. I'll probably just keep Tailwind on Aerodactyl just in case so I don't have to set it up with Air with Latios and I can just do it later on anyway. This is a really fucking janky ass team. The team members here aren't as great as I was uh, hyping them up to be, of course, but I still think that we can pull it off. The whole thing with having Zapdos as well as Rotom bow you trying to do the same thing isn't helping but i mean i'll do what i can with what i have up until 
it's time to switch out some team members. And I kind of hoping we do it. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's going to bring his Noivern knowing how fast my team is. And Slurpuff's a big, big issue as well. So I'm hoping that our Gunk Shot in Frenape will be able to come in on a clean switch and take care of it. The whole point of the team is really just to um, come in with Pokemon that can take care of things that Latios cannot necessarily take care of. Latios comes in and tailwinds and then just sweeps from there. So if we could get that going, that would be fantastic. So I'll see you in a bit for the battle. And we are here for the battle. Now, unfortunately, Gage didn't bring anything. That I, he brought the Yuxi and the Nido King, which I thought he would bring. I was hoping he wouldn't bring the Slurpuff, even though I kind of have an out for it. I kind of don't. It's really just a hope and, you know, you know hope. Heliolisk I wasn't expecting either, and I know that the Hitmon top is gonna be uh, gonna be an issue. So looking at his team, he doesn't like water very well. I mean, his uh, Heliolisk might like water. His Slurpuff is here as well. I could probably toxic that and be fine. I'm going to just go ahead and. Ooh, I kind of want to lead Aerodactyl. But I also want to lead Araquanid. I'm. What would he lead? Probably Hip Out on. So I'm going to go Araquanid. Yep, there's the Hippowdon. I wish I brought the Excadrill. I didn't think he'd do it. But now I'm just going to Toxic here. Sends out Heliolisk. That reveals to me that he is probably Dry Skin. Because he has Dry Skin, Sand Veil, or Solar Power. Ooh, he might actually have Sand Veil. I don't know what he wants to do, but he's probably going to use an electric move, which I won't like, of course. I don't think we're EV to take an electric move from this guy. So I'm thinking of just going Zapdos to take it. Maybe we'll check it out. And then Helio. Heliolisk, let's do that. Uh, it does a lot, so I'm probably just going to go with that dose. Seems, seems like a good idea. Ah, Volts. That's also an option that he had. Looking at his team, he might go Nido King. In which case, we could Hidden Power Ice him. You can't Thunderbolt him. There's a hippo. I don't know if he's got a rock move or not. I don't think our hidden power ice will knock him out. He might have stone edge, which I believe our static might actually get him. If we roost first any earthquakes, it he'll kill probably. Ooh. I'm thinking about Lottie. I really don't want to go out to Lottie yet. I don't know, man. I didn't I didn't prepare for this team. I thought he was going to come out with some big boys. But he came out with some threatening not-so-big boys. I'm just going to roost. Screw it. Let's roost. Does he, does, he, does he do it? He yawns me. Gotcha. Okay. Now, I think I'll go Lottie, because he'll probably, I'm thinking he's going to Stealth Rocks here. Oh, what the fuck? What is this? He's just yawning over and over? 
Shit, if anyone's asleep, I'd rather it be Sylveon. Sylveon does nothing here. I'm gonna side shock just in case. Maybe keeping this thing around for the Hitmonlee would have been a good idea. And the Nido King. I might just hyper voice. Yeah, hyper voice. Cause maybe he so we don't reveal our Psy Shock on the king. Or for the king. We're asleep. That did a lot of damage. That really did a lot. I'm thinking of Infernape and just U-turning. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We gunk shot here, boys. Please stay in and please hit. Yo oh, that's not... Oh? There's that. So now we outspeeds, but we can just gunk shot again. We can just gunk shot here. Which he's faster, but... Oh my goodness, that was so nice. That was nice. That's the play of the goddamn game. We won in my book already, fuck. Okay. I'm gonna go Sylveon here, expecting him to go ahead and try to put me asleep again. Wait, why could he... He couldn't do that, my bad. Um, another Stone Edge would kill, but at least we know he has the Stone Edge now. Which is really bad against the team that I brought, because I didn't realize it was really weak to rock. <sighs> um, we could even let this thing go down. Although it might not be the best thing, because it would be really useful against the Hitmonlee. I don't know why my berry didn't pop. Maybe it's not low enough. No one's really going to take it. I might just go out to Infernape. Or Aerodactyl. I'll go out to Aerodactyl so we can at least get up our rocks. I, I apologize for going out to Sylveon. That was stupid. He can't make us go to sleep again. We already, put out a, we already have a mom that's asleep. Alright, so he sends out a Heliolisk. We're just going to go ahead and... We're gonna put up our rocks. And that did nothing to us. I don't. I'm confused. What hidden power is that? Super effective. I don't know. Stone Edge. Bye. Bye bye. I'm confused. <laughs> I want to find out. He is probably faster than me. I forgot that Sandstorm ups our special defense. So... I'm thinking... We just Stone Edge here since Aerodactyl... Well, we could always taunt the hip out on. We could. We don't know what he would eat, what he even is yet, but I'm gonna go a Raquinid just in case that it is that special set. Sludge Wave. There we go. We're gonna go Liquidation. This Araquanid is EV'd to stop this uh, adequately named Anito King, considering what we did to the Slurpuff. I'm going to make sure I'm recording still. I'm recording still. Sweet. 
Okay, so I don't know what he's gonna go out into next, but if the Needle King, ah, he uses rocks himself. Needle King goes down, of course, to our liquidation. I don't know what he's gonna send out next. He might go Hitmonlee to get rid of the rocks. In which case, I'm just gonna Toxic that boy, I think. I essentially get a Toxic off on anyone that wants to come in. So here, I'm gonna Toxic the... oh. That sucks. <laughs> um, he might have Stone Edge. But if I can get into Zapdos... I don't know. We're defensive, so we might actually take a Stone Edge from Hitmonlee. Hitmonlee. Sure, and you curse. Stone Edge does about half to us, so we can get off a free... Defog. Not a free Defog, but a Defog nonetheless. Put that boy in a timer. It's always good, always good. I'm not going to switch. I'm just going to keep whittling him down with liquidation. No whittle. I did not put in an attack buff, which should have. It does a lot to Zapdos. It's going to come in at like 70 something percent. I don't think it's the greatest idea. Let's see here 300 speed. I'm at 3. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Maybe I shouldn't have put him on a timer. Maybe I should have switched out into Zapdos at that point. Because that curse set is just pretty, pretty nice. But if we Mega Evolve, we might be able to take a hit. I'm going to check that first. Take a hit in Tailwind. We can take a hit in Tailwind. Okay, boys. Wait, Tailwinding is a dumb idea because we're not even going to get to that speed. We have Ice Beam to do, Adam, so I could do that or I could recover. Um, the Surf. They both do the same thing according to the calc. Man, his moves don't do anything to me. Tailwinding is pointless at this point, considering that he'll outspeed me after a tailwind. I didn't even take into account how fast uh, Hitmonlee would get after the unburdened boost from Curse and White Herb. If I did this thing would have been faster. I don't know how much faster I would have needed to make it. Obviously we need to be 301 speed. Which would probably almost... We would have to be timid. Which I think we are timid. What the... Get out of here. Yeah, we're timid. So we Mega Evolve. He gets off a Stone Edge. Does not much. We're gonna recover here because we're gonna live another Stone Edge unless he crits. Which, if he does, we have a mock punch on our Infernape ready to go. Knocks off. Okay. Well, Hitmonlee's gone, so that's good. I could taunt with Aerodactyl so he doesn't try to put anybody else to sleep. Of course, I could also go up to Infernape and Flare Blitz him. How much does Zapdos' Hidden Power Ice do to hip out on? Nothing. Gotcha. Well... Could play the Roosting game. Kinda sucks. 
We can't toxic him either because we don't have that around. I'm just gonna go with Zapdos anyway. Well, he can't switch any. Ah, oh, 36. That's decent, I think. Oh shit, that's a crit. That's that kind of sucks. I kind of want to go Infernape and just Flare Blitz him. But I'm going to save that. I'm going to go Aerodactyl and Stone Edge. Because Tailwind at this point... Why does it do that? Tailwind at this point is useless, so I'm just going to Stone Edge, hope I hit. Letting a Rapidivio down here might have been... Might have actually lost me the game. But that Toxic on the Hitmonlee was pretty useful. We did nothing, that's fine. Is this a fully physical hip out on? Do we even do enough? Thirty-three, he's at fifty-five. We might not even do enough. We might have actually lost the game, even though we were ahead. I'm going to go out to Sylveon, hope we wake up, more protect, we haven't burned any sleep turns. And he doesn't lose anything, he has leftovers, I don't think we win. I don't think we win. I think I lost us the game. <sighs> if we had close combat, we might have won. I don't know. Well, like I said, I didn't even think he'd bring this thing. I should have brought Excadrill. Now it does the same. Okay, well, that's it. All right, well, that's a win for... That is a win for the... Meg Mo More Mo Wild Mega Mo Wilds. That was, that kind of definitely, that was sucks. Like, I was ahead a lot, and then I let the Araquanid go down, not really thinking about the on, And that's what lost me the game. At least I know this time what I did wrong so that I could use that in the future. Don't let Araquanid go down. <laughs> like, that's what I was thinking in the back of my mind, too. That, um... That the Hippo would live. Or that I would need Araquanid for the Hippo, but I didn't really listen to it. Like, I'd do half. Guaranteed with Liquidation. So I should have definitely switched out to Zapdos on that. And it wouldn't have been a paralyzed Hitmon top or Hitmon chant, Hitmon Lee, but I could have come in with the mock punch on Infernape, and it would have been okay. Damn. Well, at least we got five points. If I lose at all, five points is just fine with me. Not nec not really, but I mean, it's it's better than nothing. So, learning process. That's all I can say about this match. Like this video if you had a good time, subscribe if you have not already. And this has been your boy, Snowy Kurama. See you in the next video. Goodbye.